she can get it. Don't even tell her the other ones, she can get it. I got three other recommendations from different people and all of them came to the house, walked through the house and I mean her energy just in general is fantastic. But um, she was actually the last person that I saw. She came in the house and when she was walking through it, she was looking at the things that she liked, first of all. It was a very personal experience. She didn't talk about the neighborhoods near it. She really talked about the house itself. Everybody else talked about um, how they thought it would sell and the neighborhoods that they would comp it with, and she just had a much more personal experience with it. We had this talk about how she was gonna price, and she was not gonna price it over what she thought it would appraise for. So when she left, not with my expectation being that it was gonna be a lower price point, I still knew that I was gonna go with her. I ask all of the realtors to get back to me. All right, so we got three realtors, the exact same price. Hers was $300,000 more. When I read it, I reread it three times, and then I called my friend who knows a lot about real estate. She said, she can get it. Don't even tell her the other ones, she can get it. And then she came back and said, I just saw some other houses go up. Why don't we bump it up? And I was like, oh my, I mean, I am, like I don't, like there's part of me that wants to be excited and then there's part of me that's like, I don't even know what's happening right now. I actually emailed Kelsey and said, let me sleep on it. And then an hour later, I emailed her and said, actually, I don't want to sleep on this. I already knew I was going to go with you. At the end, she just looked at me and she's like, look, I got you. And it was just something about it that I was like, she does. I think probably one of my biggest fears was making sure this wasn't a long process that caused a lot of stress for my family, but also I didn't sell it for so much under than I could have gotten. And that somebody understood what it was like to have a family and have people coming in your house and wanting to present that house in the best way possible. When I talked about that to Kelsey, she was like, your house is gonna be fine by the time somebody gets in here. I'll be here early enough to get it that way. I didn't have to over explain. She just got it and was like, here's how I'm gonna take care of it. We set the price and there was a couple things that she recommended that I needed to do. Uh, one of them was um, stain the front of the house. It had never, I mean, it had been, hadn't been done in years. She set up somebody to do it. Um, she went to the store, got the stain that he recommended, picked it up for him and it ended up raining. So I got out and started doing it. She texted me in the middle of it and offered to come help me stain. She had filming done, photos done, everything ready to go in a week. The second showing had a full cash offer and then she had a backup offer signed after that. Had she not come into my life and I had not inter interviewed her, I would be out that amount of money, which is huge. I mean, it's life-changing. It's the difference in being able to buy another house. Not only is she very smart, but she, her instincts are so good. I think she's just got something that you can't learn in a book. I mean, I love hearing from her. I smile every time I get a text from her, and it's been months, and we still stay in contact, and she just genuinely cares about the person, not just the house. She just looks out for her clients. I don't know, I think it's a privilege to work with her.